Well, for more now, I'm joined by Liana Fix. She's with the German Marshall Fund of the United States. Her specialty, NATO-Russia relations. Liana, it's good to have you on the program. Both sides sat down and Thank talked you. today, but essentially their positions have not changed. So did, did anyone achieve the seemingly impossible of moving the needle, needle at all today? I think it was good that the talks took place. Um, but then again, it's better than a military escalation. As you said, the positions are really or seem to be irreconcilable at the moment. There is, however, room for maneuver when it comes to certain security issues in Europe, when it comes to the stationing of missiles, for instance. That is something where NATO signaled it could discuss this further with Russia, but we have to wait what will be the response from Moscow next week after these talks. And do you think with NATO saying that it is willing to, to talk about arms control and missile deployments, do you think that's enough to keep negotiations going? I think everyone hopes it is enough, but no one, including the Russian delegation at the moment, really knows. It seems that decision making in Moscow at the moment is really focused on the Russian president and that only when his diplomats come back from the talks, he will take a decision on whether this is enough what they delivered or whether it is not enough and a military escalation might be the path to go for Russia. And Russia, if you look at the whole story here, we've got Russia basically forcing NATO to the negotiating table by putting 100,000 troops at its border with Ukraine. Do you think Russia is even interested in a diplomatic solution? I think they're trying to really put everything on the table to get concessions. And again, it is surprising why suddenly these grievances that Russia had for many, many years and has voiced for many, many years now have to be resolved within weeks or months. There has been no obvious trigger. This is a crisis which is created by the Russian side. But again, at the moment, it is almost impossible to say whether the um, the, the, the room for maneuver that was found will be enough or which steps Russia will take. And what do you think, if push comes to shove here, if we see Russia invade Ukraine, can you imagine the U.S. and NATO actually going to war over Ukraine with Russia? No, absolutely not. And this is something which has already been made very clear, both by the United States and Europe, that um, no one will be militarily involved in an escalation. So that is not something to be concerned about. But it, there is something to be concerned about, which is really the security of Ukraine, which is really Russia's posturing and imperial posturing in the neighborhood. And the United States and Europe have outlined very clearly what the consequences will be of such, an, such a Russian intervention, sanctions, um, support for Ukraine, support for Eastern NATO member states. The question really is if that is enough of a deterrence to bring Moscow back to the negotiation table in the coming weeks. And isn't Russia, what Russia doing right now, isn't it really putting the security situation for all of Europe into question with its actions right now? I mean, it is, it is putting doubt into the minds of leaders at NATO and across Europe right now, isn't it? Well, there might be some short-term tactical gains for Russia with the approach that it pursues right now, but there will definitely be long-term strategic losses which is the position of Finland and Sweden, for instance, which already have signaled that they will independently decide whether they plan to join NATO or not at some point in the future. It is also, um, you can also see signs in Eastern European countries, which demand more reassurance measures, more troops in their countries. So again, this Russian posturing is creating an even greater okay. backlash in Europe and by those countries who feel threatened. Liana Fix with the German Marshall Fund of the United States. We appreciate your time and your insights tonight. Thank you.